Welcome back to Huawei Connect Live here in Shanghai. My name is Chris and here today uh, we have the honor of welcoming Jim Zemlin, Executive Director of Linux Foundation. Thank you so much for being here, Jim. Thanks for having me. So today we're going to be talking about open source and the intelligent era. Speaking of open source, the, uh, a very hot topic right now is the relationship between open source communities and uh, standards communities, or organizations. I'm yeah. curious what your view on that is. We see them essentially colliding in terms mm -hmm. of, uh, not colliding in a bad sense, but in a good sense. Uh, you know, the role of standards bodies in open source are, are really complementary. Open source provides uh, a de facto implementation of particular technologies, and standards allow for the documentation of interfaces or other components of technology uh, that enable interoperability. Uh, and we think those are complementary in nature. Uh, we think that uh, being able to provide both a standard and the actual source code that implements that standard mm. is something that enables the whole industry to move faster. Interesting. Um, specifically with uh, open source, but with other parts of the industry also, looking at AI, um, it's implemented in many places now in, in industries, um, but where do you see the, the weaknesses or where, where does more, need, more work need to be done in terms of implementation of AI? Eric Chu this week did a good job in his keynote mm. Uh, talking about some of these challenges. Some of the challenges in our deep learning uh, effort that we're trying to address include the ease of sharing data. Mm. So we created a few things to make that uh, happen more effectively. Mm. One, we created an open data license that allows the ease of sharing data from an intellectual property perspective mm. across a broad set of stakeholders, and those are all available online for free. Mm. Two, uh, we worked with industry to develop an open source project called Acumos. Hmm. Think of this as an AI marketplace that allows folks to come in, share data, use uh, machine learning uh, training tools to train models, right. and then to share those models as well. Hmm. Then take those uh, models and easily deploy them in a production scenario. Interesting. Whether it's in telecommunications or other areas, you know, basically get to benefit faster through the sharing of trained models and the sharing of data. Uh, we think that there's a lot of uh, AI technology where people are using a lot of resources and expertise yeah. to sort of train using, you know, different sets of data or, you know, could basically share models as opposed to recreate the wheel each time for themselves. Right. Uh, and that's really some of the areas where we're trying to use open source to address those challenges. Okay. Um, speaking of Huawei, um, Linux Foundation is cooperating with Huawei. I'm curious of uh, what your view of the cooperation is now and looking into the future. So the relationship between Huawei and the Linux Foundation uh, has been a terrific one for mm. Uh, more than 10 years. Uh, I remember coming to China quite some time ago, meeting with Eric Chu actually, mm, right. and discussing how open source software was becoming a critical way in which uh, many organizations across the world were uh, going to market. Mm. Uh, whether it was leveraging the Linux operating system so that they didn't have to create their own proprietary operating system by themselves, which would have taken years and right. hundreds of millions of dollars. Uh, or you know, collectively developing uh, de facto uh, standards through open source software, mm. Huawei has done an incredible job building up an organization inside of Huawei mm. that leverages billions of dollars of software that comes from outside of Huawei itself. Right. They are one of the leading companies in the world at taking this external R&D this open source software that comes yeah. from all over the globe, bringing it into Huawei, creating commercial products and services and adding value on top of that, right. and then sharing the changes that they make to that open source software back with the community so that the community can collectively maintain it while Huawei focuses on what they know best, right. which is understanding Huawei's customer requirements right. something that uh, an open source project obviously doesn't have uh, a capability of dealing. Right. So the theme of Huawei Connect 2018 is activate intelligence, and I think one key to doing that is definitely openness and collaboration. So really appreciate you sharing the information with us today about the Linux Foundation, and I wish you all the best at the rest of uh, Huawei Connect 2018. Thanks for having me.